Here's how to fix the corrupted data issue on PS5. If this video helps you, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to the game that is giving you this issue and then press on the options over it and then check for an update. Usually, if there's an update and you haven't installed it, that might fix the issue. Now, if you already have updated the game and that's not working, then let's go ahead and continue with the process. Now, what you want to do next is completely turn off your PlayStation. For that, press the PS button, go down in here and then just turn off your PlayStation. Don't restart it, just turn it off. Next, we'll go into our actual PS5 and we'll hold the power button for a couple of seconds until we hear two beeps. That'll put us on this screen right here where we need to connect the PS5 controller and use the PS button. Now, once you're in this screen, you want to go all the way down to number six, where it says clear cache and rebuild database. And in here, you're going to select number two, rebuild database. Now, read through this thing. It's pretty straightforward. And then hit OK. That's going to restart your PlayStation and it's going to start rebuilding database, as you can see right here on the screen. Just wait for this to finish. And then once that's done, your PS5 is going to turn on and you'll be able to log in with your account. You're not going to lose any information. It's going to be the same, but you'll be able to open those games that were probably giving you the issue with the corrupted data and stuff like that. Now, if you're still having the issue, if you're not able to open the game, this is what we need to do next. What you want to do is go over to your home menu and then press on the options over that game that is giving you the troubles. And unfortunately, you're going to have to delete it and then reinstall the games. That's the last thing you could do to fix this corrupted data issue. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.